Hello and welcome from Stuttgart CMT uh, Trade Fair. I'm going to show you this Weinsberg Edition Cara Compact MB640 Meg. It costs over 95,000 euros. And if this works, I'll tell you how, what the technical details are. If not, I'm just going to have to tell you off the top of my head. And uh, just as well, I didn't tell you off the top of my head because I thought it was <laughs> 695, 692 centimetres long, 230 wide, in a width 212, uh, 286 height, 2 metres inside, and it will give 468 kilos of payload, if my memory serves correct me correctly. And right. Weinsberg's meant to be a cheaper brand, yet it's now on a Mercedes. I don't understand the logic to that. Why would you put the cheap stuff on the most expensive engine? No idea. Anyway, German layout here at the back. Uh, we've got... Uh, this will come out, slide out, there you go, it doesn't break, it's a Weinsberg at the end of the day. Yeah, so that will come out that far. There is a mattress cover there. There's another mattress cover here. I wonder if it fits. Well, sort of, yeah, that fits. Yeah, and that comes out like that, and that makes a big bed. With, Of course, if you push it incorrectly, you'll get a flat bed as well. So, that will go down like that and it gives you uh, a big bed. Under the big bed, we've got storage and it's hidden by sensible sliding doors. Indeed, this one here is enormous. It's got a rail up there and it's great if you like uh, groping around in the dark. I would have suggested instead that they put in a light. There you go. You can always open this up here and put the light on in the garage. That'll give you a bit more space. Also note, there is a sort of access to the garage from here. And if you're a contortionist, you'll be able to get into the garage through there. And if you're not, well, stuff you leave in the garage, you might need internally, you can leave it down there. Or you can use that as a rubbish chute. Or indeed, you can use it for chute for uh, clothing. Uh, under here, you can see a little bit of the technical infrastructure. There you've got some the hot, the hot air pipes. And uh, what is the point of this? Right now, that, okay, fair enough, okay. I do like these elastics, not a bad idea. And if you can take them off, if you can unclip them, which you can't in this case, but if you can unclip them, you can even use stack stuff, plenty of stuff in there. I suppose you can actually pull it, the stuff out like that. But look at the end, nothing there. Nothing there. And whereas the one on the left side, my left, has got a plug and two USBs, so you can put your telephone in there. This one there hasn't got anything. Just goes to show what happens when people do motorhomes who don't know, have never been slept a night in one in their lives. And it's a bit like me uh, designing deep sea diving gear. Uh, there's a ledge up there, again, a bit pointless if you don't have uh, some infrastructure to it, such as it could be for storage, you need some kind of a elastic to hold things in place. It could be for uh, keeping your phones charged, in that case you need electricity. Anyway, good, that's that. Uh, right, uh, got a big fridge here. And I've got some storage below the fridge. This thing here comes out folds down like that and you get another view of the uh, electrical infrastructure without a light. Uh, in here we've got a washroom. There we go, there's me in the mirror. And as I come in you will notice that there is a stack of space around here. Now if you don't want the, sh the, the, the sink in the shower you can you can slide it over in the off chance that it actually works and it's not blocked, never mind that. Okay, um, oh, let's see what the problem is. Right, uh, <laughs> here we've got a, uh, um, a shower with two uh, drainage holes, the wrong size, you need bigger ones or you need ones with filters in, and it's got a non-slip surface. Notice how nicely I, I put the carpet back. In here, up here, B. 
bit of storage there. Hang on, is this, I'm gonna give this another go. I think it's blocked. No, it's blocked. I don't want to use force, so you have to pull this thing here up and then the, uh, the, the thing goes across, but it's broken. I mean, maybe I wasn't using enough force. That, that, that is one thing. I'm, I, ha I tend to be very gentle with anything that I find in, in, a, in vehicles. And so it has often happened, I can't open doors and things when somebody else comes in and opens it without any problem. Uh, I don't want to break anything. Uh, particularly as so much stuff is broken, it's not the fault of the manufacturers in many cases, the way people come in and abuse things. Anyway, uh, there we've got a bit of a ledge, that's okay, no problem with that one. Uh, here, we, this is for the light, I presume. I could do without something like that. Well, ah, maybe it's alright, maybe it's alright. Won't criticise uh, constantly. Eh, there you go. There we have uh, the drawers, nice drawer, because I could do with the proper side, but nobody puts proper sides in these days, or no, next to nobody puts in proper sides. Soft clothes. And here, forward-facing bench, table, I think could be bigger in a vehicle of this size. Mercedes up there, it's got a media kit on board, and um, this is unique to these handles unique to Weinsberg. Right, let's have a sit down. I do like the Mercedes. Uh, I would have expected at this price level a flat floor all the way back and not one like we've got in here. I think that's a bit of a problem. You can get a lithium ion batteries as an option and I highly suggest that you do. Uh, here we've got a uh, 200 30 volt plug which is uh, pretty good because you can sort of bring this thing out here and you can you can do your mixing or something like that from there of course if you're uh, connected to uh, the shore power and if you're not you can actually arrange it I've done this in my vehicle you can connect that to a an inverter television goes up there and uh, what is the water filter system it says they're sylvie ready sylvie's a system for it got um glasses whereby there's a magnetic strip in the vehicle you put a magnetic a piece under the the holder and the uh, glasses will hold themselves in place they don't bang it's uh it's pretty ingenious uh, i do like the indirect lighting down there um let's have a look outside Flynet integrated and it's got a pretty big uh, garage. Look, you can get two bicycles in there, no problem. I believe that it, it, it's 200 and no, sorry, it's 150 kilos weight that it'll take in the back. Um, yeah, that could come in handy if you're thinking of crossing the Atlantic. They might need a better one for the Pacific because it's wider. And here uh, we've got uh, their battery goes, and they've got only 80 amp ampere hour battery. I mean, that wasn't last year very long. Get, get, get. Uh, always, I think, lithium uh, life bulb for lithium ferrous uh, phosphate batteries. Brilliant things. It really has changed my motorhoming experience. You've got these things, but these dog cages in the back. I've done a video on that. Uh, there's an easy travel box. That's not the easy travel box. That's the uh, cassette toilet. The easy travel box is here, and I'll open this. And and so what you do is you thread your elect your electric point in through here, goes up there, and when this is locked, then nobody pinches the cable. There's your water. Uh, also. It's quite good that actually, I, I personally think having uh, a different lock. The, the, the locks on most motorhomes, they tend to break quite easily. And um, the locks on the, the water, uh, I should say. So from that point of view, I think this travel box is a pretty good idea. Right, so there you have it. Uh, it's, it's, 
Mercedes, which is great. It's a Weinsberg, which isn't. Um, it's obviously Weinsberg quality. Uh, so that is a negative thing. I need to point out that the sliding thing inside, it could have been my fault for not using enough force on it. So I do, uh, if something is like that is broken, um, uh, that has to be made absolutely clear. Uh, we've got the, you can see outside, it does say the awning there and uh, good. Uh, so um, for 100,000, I would much prefer on a different, different brand rather than one of these. So uh, that's how I, I would see it. Uh, I don't recommend Weinsberg anyway, but at least you've seen the vehicle and that's the important thing. Thanks for watching.